Hey guys, it's Yvette and I have my little box of figs that finally came and um, I know that you guys know we are all so frustrated, not just the people who are waiting for their boxes, but the poor people who have all these boxes and all of the fabric is taking so long to get here. Um, so I do have the box here and you have the, I've cut the tape, so you can actually um, get the box inside a priority box so that the little box of figs stays looking nice and pretty, so I like that. Um, right on top, we have our little box of figs 2021 box number one. And Joanna has, given us some pattern info and tells us all about what's inside the box. So I'm gonna put that to the side because I like to be surprised. Um, and then it looks like we have one of their um, patterns here for a little boxy catch-all. So I'll put that to the side and we'll show that in a second. And all right, so I'm gonna pull the box out. There's some little packing peanuts inside. I think these are the ones that like melt I might try that <laughs> and see if that these are the ones that actually melt because I, I would like to see that in action. Okay. Um, okay, so this time we just have a plain green box. Sometimes they'll have um, like whatever the season is on the top, um, but it looks like this time, it's just a nice plain little green box. So let's open it up. All right. Um, Fig tree threads, strawberry shortcake. And here's um, what the item looks like. And it looks like maybe we'll be making uh, these strawberries. Okay, so there's two sizes of strawberries. You can either make the three inch or the four inch. And then they tell you uh, what you need to make each strawberry. You will need one fat eighth of bright red fabric, cotton or corduroy or snuggle fabrics all work wonderfully. You'll need two different scraps of apple green fabric. You'll need a small piece of fusible webbing, some stuffing and some freezer paper. Okay. And there are some templates inside um, and sewing instructions and all that. Okay. so little pattern for strawberry shortcakes, which looks like just little strawberries, which are su super cute. Um, ooh, cool. Okay, so we've got this pattern. One charm pack is all you need. And the pattern is called berries. And here it is a little close up of what the finished berries would look like. I like the prairie points. Um, okay, so the quilt size is two and a half inches by 34 and a half inches. You need one strawberry and rhubarb charm pack, five eighths of a yard of background. Um, she used ivory solid, one third yard for sashing and border. She used a cream print. Uh, one third yard for the leaf and prairie points in a green print one quarter yards of, for the binding in a green solid or a green print, depending on what you prefer, and two thirds of a yard for backing. Let's see. Okay. So this is really cute. It's It's got all of the cutting instructions, all of the piecing instructions. Um, apparently they are using the cut and flip method for making the strawberries, uh, which is very nice. So there it is, it's the pattern. Oh, we got some little pins, strawberry, a little quilt block and a, like a daisy. I would call it a daisy, um, it's cute, super cute. And this came from um, just another button company and I love them. So, okay, got that. Then we have a mini charm pack of strawberries and rhubarb. There you go. 
We have, are, they, are these stickers? I think these are stickers and we got two of them or I got two of them. I don't know if I was supposed to. Uh, and it says favorite things. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're stickers. Um, okay, we have a charm pack of strawberries and rhubarb. I will go through this and show you the fabrics. Uh, we have a little needle bird. That's to thread your needle. We have a piece of felt. This probably goes for making the little strawberries. And then we have some green print. I'm sure this is for um, the berries pattern. So this would go for like the prairie points and the binding. Here is a cream print that would probably use that for the sashing and the border. And there's also this one Maybe you could use one for the sashing and one for the border. No, it looks like they use the same one on theirs. Maybe one of them is the background. Maybe this could, no, because there's cream here. Okay, well, maybe they're just giving us a lot of options, which is good. <laughs> uh, so that's really pretty. We have some Milner needer, needles. Oh, it says it's a binding needle for quilt binding from Primitive Gatherings. Okay, it's, there's, a, there's quite a few of them in there. So there's a lot in there. Um, then there's a strawberry pin. That's cute. You can put that on my, on my pin, I say pin board, but it's a pin hanging, <laughs> wall hanging with all of my pins on it. Um, Okay, so let me share with you the fabrics that are in strawberries and rhubarb. Let me try to pull this down a little bit. Let me put them on really tight. Okay. All right, that's good enough because it's, it's not moving very much, I have to say. Um, so let's go through and see the different fabrics. Now, usually with um, fig tree, they will have pretty much or like hardly ever any repeats um just because they have so many different prints that they will put in their collections okay try to get them one at a time <laughs> try to go a little bit closer there you go does that make it a little bit better we have all the lights on in here and i did not even put up my ring light which i should probably do for the next video. <laughs> it does help. This is a really cute line. I'm liking this a lot so far. I love the peaches. That's an interesting print. I like that. Uh, oh, I like it in that colorway too. Cute. We have two of those. My fingernails are matching a lot of these uh, prints. I like that a lot. <laughs> Or sort of anyway. There we go. Holy cow. I can't get them apart. I'm gonna try to use my fingernails to slide them apart. Oh, look how cute that is. That's different. Either are they little cherries or are they little apples? I'll be honest with you. I don't even know what rhubarb looks like. So that could be rhubarb and I just don't know. <laughs> Very cute. 
I really like these, these little flowers here. The bigger ones, eh, but these little ones are so super cute. Oops, I let him go. I'd love for you guys to uh, comment below and let me know what you think about this fabric, um, this fabric collection. See, I like whenever they have that pop of color in it, that's, that makes it a little more interesting. Oh, I like that. I like with the different colors inside, that's really nice. Here's a red one. There we go, a little bit more of that pop of green. There we go. And they're gonna introduce a little bit of the gray in there. That one's not bad. There's still a few left. We got two of those. And that's the last one. Okay, uh, so that is the strawberries and rhubarb collection. And so it looks like what we have is the charm pack, the mini charm pack. Oops. Um, we have these fabrics to uh, put together the berries pattern, which is right here. We have, um, and actually maybe some of this is for the little strawberry guy, I'm not sure. Um, but I think it calls for mostly red and green. Yeah, we do have um, some felt for the stems. And then we have the stickers, the pens, a stick pen, binding needles, and the little bird to uh, thread your needles. So let's see, what does this paper say? Uh, the main project is the ba Berries Table Runner. Um, that will use a charm pack. And then we have the little boxy catch-all. I almost forgot about this actually. Um, and this, we got the mini charms for that. There is a, a little project number two, which is the strawberry shortcake. Um, there's a strawberry enamel pin. There are some specialty pins. There's the hummingbird threader, the binding needles, and the favorite things stickers. So it looks like everybody did get two stickers. Um, oh, and they're saying you could take the sticker and put it on the box lid if you want to. Okay. Um, so the total value of this box is $84.25 plus shipping. And we were charged $70.35 plus shipping. Okay. So that's, that's the value of the box. And I would love to hear everybody's opinion about the box. Let me know what you think. Do you subscribe to the box? Were you able to pop in there and, and get one? And I will see you guys in the next video. Um, thanks so much for watching. I love you guys. Mwah.